So, hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and honestly, I never thought that I would be seeing this sentence, but here I am, so welcome to my channel. <laughs> so, um, this channel, Miss Leave, is gonna be all about different topics like um, traveling, my travel journey. It's gonna be about some um, discussions I wanna do with you guys and some topics who are really like very important to me and some lifestyle stuff if something interesting happens in my life i'm gonna share it with you so this first video is gonna be a q and a get to know me video so you can yeah like i said get to know me a bit better and i had some questions on instagram that i asked some people and i'm gonna just answer them i think it's like 15 questions or something and the question is how are you so this is so cute thank you so much I'm doing good, I hope you too. Next question is, how old are you? So I'm 28 years old, still. And yeah, I know I have a baby face, I look like a baby, but I'm a granny. Next question is, how tall are you? So, like we say in German or in Europe, I am uh, 170, 170 centimeters tall. And in English it would be 5'7". I guess yeah five seven next question is what country are you from so I'm from Congo my parents are both from Congo but I'm born in Germany so yeah I'm a Congolese girl living in Germany next question is have you ever had a surprise party that was actually a surprise so I just had a surprise party once in my life I think when I got like 15 years old and my friends did it and the thing is that I was already like a bit suspicious because um, my friends kept like calling at my home and talking to my mom and my cousin and stuff like that and um, I was like already thinking of that something is happening and then I came home and I, I ring the door my dad opened the door and he was like happy birthday and the thing is, the day it was my birthday, like my birthday was like a week ago or something or two weeks ago. And he opens the door and says, happy birthday. And I was like, okay, something is going on here. So, um, yeah. So I went to the living room and acted as if it was a surprise, but actually <laughs> I already knew. But it was very nice and um, yeah, I miss those days. So next question is, what is your motivation? That's a good question. Um, to be honest, I would say my motivation is me, myself and I, and then um, my family, my parents, my sister. Um, I always try to motivate myself, so I don't really, yeah, I'm just trying to make myself proud and to achieve the goals that I set for myself. And I'm also trying to make my parents proud, to make my family proud. Next question is, what did you study? And it goes with, what is your profession? Also, it was two questions, but I would just answer it in once. So, what did I study? <laughs> it's a bit complicated. So, um, I graduated from, from school, or high school, whatever you call it. And um, I started at the university. I started something like, um, I started studying German and something called like book sense because I wanted to work in a publishing house because as you can see in the background, I love reading. I really, really love reading and um, I wrote some short stories myself, but I just felt like I'm not good enough to write books because it's not easy to write a whole story, to write a whole book. So my dream was to work in a publishing house and at least to find some very good authors to bring their books out and everything with goes with that. Yeah, but when I started, I started, um German was so fucking boring <laughs> it was so boring and I stopped after nearly two years and then I wanted to do um, economy but at the same time I was like applying for some apprenticeship and I got an apprenticeship in a shoe company that's where I work now I did my apprenticeship I finished this a bit earlier because I had some good grades and um, yeah, it just happened that I started working in a shoe company in a sh for a shoe brand and I love shoes. So somehow I just landed in the um, 
fashion business and um, that's what I do now so um, yeah I did an apprenticeship as for wholesale but at the end I'm not working in wholesale I'm in a product design so I'm a junior product manager for a shoe brand um, next question is what are your life goals that's a good one too um, my life goals I would say my life goals are to stay healthy and to just try to enjoy life the fullest and I just try to see as much as I can from the world the world is so big and I just want to discover so much as I can make so many memories as possible and of course I want to have a good life I want to have a home and I want to get married one day and to have my own children and yeah just to enjoy life um, next question is who would you like to play you in a movie of your life? <laughs> um, hmm. I think if it would be normally I would say Beyonce because I love Queen Bee, but to be honest, she's not such a good actress. So I would say in a movie about my life, I would like Carrie Washington to play me. This would be so cool. I think she's she's very talented. And I think she would be able to play me get very well. So the next question is how many countries sorry <laughs> sorry for my English okay I'm born and raised in Germany so my English is a bit but I try my best. I travel to I think um, 23 countries um, but I still have 160 to go so <laughs> no not 170 to go so I'm still on it and I hope I can see a bit more of the world. Next question is, do you speak any languages and how well? So I speak five languages. Um, my mother tongue, uh, yeah, let's say I have three mother tongue, but the real one is like German, of course, because I'm born and raised in Germany. So I speak German very, very well. I speak French very well. And I speak Lingala very well. It's the national language um, of the Congo. And, um, I speak very good English, I think, and I speak Spanish, yeah, and I would like to learn a new language, so my goal for 2020 is to start learning Japanese or Mandarin, Chinese, I don't know yet, but I will start with this. So next question is, what's your favorite color? So my favorite color is red. I love red since I'm since I was a kid since I know what color red is so yeah what's your favorite drinks I have a few favorite drinks um, one of my favorite drinks is Sprite I mostly go for Sprite and um, I like malt beer <laughs> my friends gonna laugh now if I hear it because I always say I look like a homeless <laughs> with my beer in my hand but I love malt beer um, your life looks always so beautiful and uncomplicated. Is it the same in real life? Okay, so I think you say my life looks beautiful and complicated on social media. Um, no, I don't think that my life is so beautiful in real life. I struggle a lot too. I have ups and downs like everyone. And I think it's the same for everyone. So we, just should, we should try to separate real life from social media because social media is not real life. You just sh show on social media what you want to show. Just show the nice parts of your life when nothing happens and you're not there and it's okay some people do that but i don't post like if i'm in a hospital or if something really really bad happens to me and my family because i feel like if you post something bad from your life i feel like you're calling some demons to come and everything's gonna be even worse so social media is social media just because you see some guys posting up with a porsche or a tesla car or whatever it doesn't mean that it's their car could be a rental car and it's the same for me i'm not saying that my life is fake or something but i'm just saying that i don't share the very bad side of my life so it doesn't mean that i don't have ups and downs or that i don't have struggle like everyone else so the last question for today is what is your life motto that's a nice one so my life motto is um something on spanish and i have even have the tattoo on my legs so um, I can say it in Spanish. Um, 
Cuando la vida te da una razón para llorar, demostrar que tienes mil y una razones para reír. And that means when life gives you a reason to cry, show life that you have 1001 reasons to smile. So every time something bad happens to me, that I'm down, that I'm depressed, that I don't know what, I always try to remember the good things in my life, like my family, that I'm healthy, that I have a roof on the top and that, yeah, that God keeps me safe. So that's my life motto and I just want to share it with you and I just hope that, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice journey together and that I can share a bit more with you guys and I can share all my experiences with you, where I'm gonna travel to. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video and enjoy your time. Bye bye.